What's going on guys? It's Tom New York and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be talking about how you can get more crew members in Infinite Galaxy. So crew members are important for a couple of reasons. First, each individual crew member has their own skills and these skills can range anywhere from giving you more battle stats like attack, defense, health, or they could give you things like research speed, building speed, and things along those lines. So some of the stats and skills on these crew members are super crucial, but they also provide stat points to your spaceport. And the more stat points you have in a particular category, the more buffs you can get in that category so this is my current crew that i have set up here and if you look on the right hand side you'll see all of the points that i have in my fortify plan for every 10 points that you have on the crew for a particular category you get one point to put in there so you can see here i have 30 points for my command category which means i have three points that i could distribute amongst this top row i put all three of them into my research speed because research is super important in this game you can only research one thing at a time and so you want to get through that as fast as possible so the higher level your crew members are the more of these stats they're going to bring which means the more that you can pick these particular talents in the fortify plan and some of these are really good right i'm getting nine percent kinetic weapon attack next level i'll get 12. so some of these again some of these are really powerful and so the more that you have in here the better and so that begs the question how do you actually get some more crew members well there's a, a good news there's there's a couple of ways right there's a couple of good ways we could do this first you take a sip of water because you've been talking all day now everybody's gonna get helen for free right she's gonna be your first epic rarity that you do get she is awesome you're gonna get her right at the beginning of the game but there's a couple of other ways that you can get more crew members the first way that you can get some crew members absolutely for free is through investigation rewards if you go into your events panel here and you go in the bottom right corner you'll see a little chest and it says rewards preview and it says that once i get up to 80 here i will get a robbie sunny nicholas so this is a crew member that you can get absolutely for free i believe this is how you get uh what's his name wagner last name wagner uh hello anyone last name wagner yes truck wagner you get him from that as well so again make sure you're investigating exploring prospecting all that good stuff and over time you're going to be getting some crew members here absolutely for free now the most common way that you're going to be getting crew members is actually through the recruit crew feature who would have thought you're going to need spaceport prestige points in order to do this the question is how do you actually get these spaceport prestige points and the good news is that you can get a lot of them absolutely for free one way that you can do every single day is just the daily missions right the 150 point reward gets you 250 the 270 point reward gets you 500 so that's 750 right there so you're guaranteed at least one and a half summons every single day you can also get them by participating in events such as the archean ghost ship event you can see here the rewards preview you get them for pretty much i think it's every single reward tier i didn't actually participate in this one because i was working but yeah you get them as individual rewards you get them as alliance rewards you also get them as ranking rewards so if you're one of the top players in this event there's a ton of points that you can get from this particular event and i'm sure this isn't the only event i'm sure there's other events that will eventually give you these spaceport prestige points as well so just keep an eye out on the event calendar when these do come around make sure that you participate in them if you are looking for more crew members you can also get them for free through the world missions down here in the course section so this says 3,500 commanders have a spaceport level five boom you get 500 prestige points absolutely for free so this is going to be based on your particular server so this i think comes around for the beginning of the server so there's a ton of different ways in here as these chapters open up over time you can see this one comes in seven hours so if all the commanders gather 1 billion resources in my server then everybody will get 900 spaceport prestige points so this is another free way you're going to get these passively over time so just participate actively in your community in your server things like that Another really interesting way to get some free prestige points is through these discovery rewards here. Now, essentially this particular feature is when you are investigating different star systems, you're going to come across some that have these special items. And if you complete that particular set of items, you will get a reward. So 
if I get all four of these items, you can see I've already found two of them, then I will get 3,200 prestige points, which is excellent. You'll know which star systems have them because if you scroll through here, you'll see them with a little logo. And here it says a Madden lab. If I click on that, it'll tell me that this particular item is in that star system. And I should go ahead and complete that star system by going and investigating, prospecting all that good stuff. It looks like there's three particular things I can do here. So two investigations in one prospect. And when I finish that, I will get the particular item. Now, when you discover these items, you can share those coordinates with your Alliance members. So this is kind of like a team effort. And, you know, like I said, it's just a free way to get more rewards. So keep an eye out for these. They're kind of rare, but you'll get them over time. Now, I don't actually have any screenshots or anything like that. And I don't have any proof up right now, but I'm sure that there are also Alliance events that give you these prestige points as well, because typically the Alliance events kind of line up with the events that come up in the calendar here. So again, correct me in the comment section below but i believe that there are particular alliance events that will also reward you some of these prestige points also keep an eye on these chapter rewards uh there may have been some chapters that gave you a small amount of these prestige points I don't remember exactly, but obviously you're going to be going through these chapters anyway. So this might be another free way. I just, I don't remember. Finally, there are bundles that you can purchase. If you want to speed up this process, if you don't want to just get the free points every single day, or by doing those missions, you can get some of these space pores. Dude, that is such a tongue twister. I'm so sick of saying spaceport prestige points. You try and say that five times fast. It's absolutely, I am enraged. There are bundles that you can get these spaceport prestige points. You can also buy particular bundles that will give you entire crew members. So for this particular daily special bundle, it comes with AC Corey. One of the beginner bundles did come with Captain Goodman as well. That's how I got this crew member. Of course, your first purchase is going to give you Laura as well. And she is a legendary rarity. So she's very good. And then of course, there's like monthly bundles and things like that, which give you a ton of these prestige points as well. So I'm pretty sure I covered every single way to get crew members in this game but if i missed anything of course comment down below any other ways that you know that you can get crew members in this game or the spaceport prestige points now a couple of things to keep in mind when you do get more crew members over time from the recruit a crew feature you will get duplicates of some of these crew members and while that may sound like a bad thing it's actually pretty good because when you get duplicates you can actually advance them and advancing them requires a certain amount of data cards in order to do so so you can see right now that I have my boy over here, Tony Johan Johansson. He's already level three, which means that his laser cutter ability has been upgraded three times. So when he's first summoned, this is what it is. First upgrade, second upgrade, third upgrade. So he has 3.1 laser weapon attack, which is good. Now, in general, if you're looking at some of the different rarities, right? There's obviously legendary, epic, elite, and advanced. There's however you want to look at it. If gold, purple, blue, green, whatever it is. In general, there's going to be a pretty big difference in stats when it comes to the rarity. So overall, the legendaries are going to give you way more stats, right? So if you look at Laura, just having her summoned, she gives you 6.4% flagship attack. And when she's your deputy, meaning she's in this number one spot right here. She also gives you 2.5% research speed just flat out because of that. If you compare that to some of the other crew members that are lower rarity, for example, Hobayakawa, is that how you say that? <laughs> Obviously he's a blue tier rarity. So he gives you 0.9% research speed at his base level. So there's a really big difference between him and a legendary who gives you 2.5, right? It's more than two and a half times better So keep that in mind. But what I was talking about before with getting duplicates, there is the opportunity to have some of these crew members more powerful than their uh, higher rarity just because of how often you're going to get them. So of course the green rarity is the most common. You're going to get them a ton. And so you're going to be able to advance them more frequently than you will any of the blues, purples, or legendaries. So for example, let's pretend that captain Goodman was only level one. I didn't advance him at all. He would have 1.4% cruiser attack and 1.4% cruiser HP. So that's a total of 2.8% of stats. But if we look at somebody like Steve Harvey, who I have level three now, he has 3.8% of stats now it is only one stat it's just attack instead of divided into two but you can see how this 
green rarity could provide more stats than a purple rarity just because of how much more i was able to you know advance him in the game by getting his data cards more frequently now of course um that's that example is a little bit difficult because captain goodman was somebody that i could just straight up buy so that's why i was able to advance him so quickly but you can see here i don't have any other epics besides the one that you get for free so you can see how hard it's going to be to advance these epics just by summoning them over time and because of that you should feel pretty good about using some of these lower rarities at least in the beginning of the game because like i said you're going to just advance them much faster guys if you enjoyed this video or if you found it entertaining or informative or useful or anything like that make sure you drop a thumbs up on it it really does help out the channel a ton and make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that bell to be notified the next time that i upload an infinite galaxy video as always my social media links are in the description below so make sure you follow me over there on instagram twitter discord facebook everything like that it's all in the description below and finally there's a link in the description below to download infinite galaxy absolutely for free for your ios device your android device your emulators however you want to play the game the link is down below click it and give the game a try it's absolutely free with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace